Well, hello, my friendly shoppers, and welcome back. We have had a huge week. It's been a great week, and it's because of you, my subscribers. Thank you so much. We hit 5,000 subscribers. I feel so blessed and I'm so grateful for all of you. This has just been such a great week. And so to say thank you, it's a, a small little thank you. I want to give away two $25 gift cards to make it easy. So the next couple of videos, you see, when you see this introduction, go ahead and enter in the comments below. And this is going to be drawn on May 20th. And I'm going to, like I said, give away two lucky winners to the comments. All you have to do is comment below, enter me in. You do have to be a subscriber and your name will go in the drawing. Now, like I said, I'm going to put this in the next couple of videos. If you are seeing another video and you're seeing this, can you enter again? Absolutely. And so everybody, thank you again so much. Let's go shopping because we're going to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Okay, as I mentioned before, we are shopping back at Trader Joe's. One of the viewers asked to stop in the tea selection, so last week I was gonna do it. Somebody was standing there, so I'm like, well, I'll come around and then I'll come back, and I totally forgot. So I'm going to start in the tea selection. I think Trader Joe's has some of the best teas, and they have some of the best pricing when it comes to teas as well. You can see it's all about $2 and change. Now, the, this green tea, that I've tried that one before. Now, the Yogi brand is a little bit higher, but it's still a good price. This elderberry lemon balm, I tried that a few weeks ago. I have been loving this tea. I have one every evening. The flavor of it has just been so good. And because I do drink coffee, but I do drink tea once a day. Now this organic blood orange, that was actually really tasty. I've had that before. I actually like to mix it up with a darker, like a black tea, like Earl Grey or English breakfast. And so just kind of, I get that little bit of a caffeine kick because the orange is a herbal tea. And that's the fun thing about teas. You can mix them up and just create some new flavor for you. Now the 100% pineapple juice. This was $3.99 now. It used to be $2.99, but this is some of the best pineapple juice ever. So I did grab a couple of those. The organic watermelon jerky. I have never seen watermelon jerky before. I'm assuming it's just like dried fruit, like mango or apricots. That is $3.69. Now speaking of apricots, here they have the organic apricots for three dollars and 49 cents it's a little it's like a couple of weeks still too early for apricots and because they have a short season they looked a little green like they picked them too early look at those i'm going to wait a couple of weeks before i grab some even with the cherries i was so excited to see cherries i still think it may be a little too early so I said buy a couple of weeks and because uh, what I don't like to do is bite into a cherry that's not right. So I'm going to wait on those, but I cannot wait because I love those. Now, I love how they do package the salmon. It's easy to see and you can just take a peek because everybody has their own way of, of liking it. I don't particularly care when it has a skin on the back, but those didn't. Now the ribeye steak. $23.39. Last week I got the filet mignons. Those were really good. And so, and they were big. They came out of those vacuum packs. They were big. The banana bread mix. Now, I haven't seen this before. Uh, this was, now it's with walnuts for $4.99. And the, so they got all their banana products are coming out. The Greek salad, $2.99. I always like grabbing a couple of these just to have them. It's an easy lunch to put together because I just pop it all into a big bowl and mix it up. And I always like make sure, I always usually grab them from the bottom. Now, so I'll talk about bananas. So they have banana chocolate chip muffins and those are $4.29. And look at this, the whole table was the banana chocolate chip muffins. And then on the other side was vegan banana bread. Now this has walnuts as well. And so this was $4.99. So if you're vegan, you pay. There's an option for you. Now, the brown, I like these because these, these are brown. These are unbleached. And so I got a couple of these coffee filters. I got number two and a number four. Because uh, it depends on how much you use. And then French vanilla coffee, $8.99. That is really good. 
the organic shells for $1.39. This is one of my fa daughter's favorites, so grab some of those. Now, the protein bars. I'm going to try to grab a couple for my husband. He likes these as an afternoon snack. And so this one, it was a protein bar. It was like 10 grams. So I'm going to try those and see how he likes those. Because they're only, what, $3.49. And it's 10 grams of protein per each. We'll see, because that's actually a pretty good price for a protein bar. ABC bars, $3.29. It's a peanut butter with a chocolate. Then you have the granola bites, and then a peanut butter and jelly bar, and then this strawberry walked into a bar. <laughs> and uh, I actually like those to snack on, so I grabbed those. The pasture raised eggs, four dollars and twenty nine cents. That's actually a really good price. Anytime you can find those for under five dollars, that is a really good price. Now, I've been looking for my cheese a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago actually now. The Brie Bites were some of my favorites. I was so excited and I was like being nice and only bought two. I think next time I see them, I'm just gonna have to buy more. I haven't seen them since and I've ran out, <laughs> which is sad. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep my eye out for them. Now, like I said, I always think Trader Joe's has a good pricing on shrimp, or not shrimp, but fish alone. So this is the Argentinian red shrimp ginger garlic butter. I mean this, and I love how you can see the seasoning on it, $7.99. So I always like it when you can, like I said, when you see through, just seeing your product really makes a big difference. Now, I used to always buy this. Our last package sadly was not that good. I don't know if they changed the recipe, but it was $6.99, so I think I'm just gonna have to make my own. Now these fish nuggets, those are actually really good. This is really easy, because sometimes we'll have like a fish and chips night. Just pop those in the oven. And they, you know, they don't take that long to cook. They're only $5.99 for the whole box. And that feeds us the whole family of three. And like I said, those are actually really good. Not too bready. Now, the black bean and cheese taquitos, these are really tasty. They normally have the black bean and cheese, but also have a chicken. They didn't have chicken today, so I just grabbed one of the black bean ones. But those are, I like I, said, I like eating those, put a little guacamole and cheese. They were only $3.99. Now, it cost we grabbed one of these, the Kung Pao chicken. That is really good. And it has a little bit of heat, $5.99. Not as strong as we usually, so, you know, sometimes I'll add just a little bit of extra red pepper. <laughs> the, the tapura cauliflower, now that one can get a sneaky hot, which I absolutely love. So I definitely grabbed a bag of these because I like making these for lunch. Now, garlic naan, I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Those are always great to have on hand. $2.69. And then here, sometimes, now I didn't see this one last week. And the paneer, always my favorite. And that one has a little bit of a spice too. $3.69. Now the barbecue chicken pizza, this is one of our favorites for $4.99. And then, of course, one of my favorite Nokis. Let's see if I can reach down here and grab it. Yeah, there's only a couple of left. The Gorgonzola cheese Noki, yum. $3.29. And then, of course, my chicken spring rolls. I gotta grab some of those. I don't know why they're cheaper than the vegetable ones. <laughs> you think they'd be the same price. Roasted potatoes, always a good staple to have. And I like making those for breakfast. And I actually bought these last week and I forgot. So I gotta I, I still need to try those out. And those are only four dollars and ninety-nine cents. The kids be like, what? You're hiding macaroons? <laughs> and so sunshine wines. Now this look that last week they had the sangria out. I still have the sangria, but now they have, like I said, their sunshine wines. They're just really going to push. Trader Joe's always has really good, inexpensive wines. And now I'm not the hugest wine person, but I do like a sweet, sparkling wine once in a while. And like I said, I have family coming, and that is what they prefer. 
Um, so this strawberry and raspberry wine, this is like, it's bubbly, $5.99, and it's sweet, and so it almost looks like a, like a really pretty champagne bottle. And so we saw the grapefruit, so it says this one, the strawberry and raspberry, and then we saw over here, this one is a, like a mango, and that one looks tasty. They all actually look really good. And so, and then the peach bellini, and it was a really hard, because I wanted to try one to see how it is, and because I still have the other peach wine, and like I said, I am not the, I am not a wine connoisseur, I, I just kind of know what I like, and so I decided to, to try the strawberry and raspberry, so I put, I got that, I have it chilling in the fridge, and then they had another little section as well with them. So they see they're getting picked over. People are, look like they're wanting them. I did get the peach last time. I still have that in the fridge chilling. And then now this one's with the Charles Shaw. People used to call this, what, two buck chuck. <laughs> and I don't think it's $2 anymore. But people used to buy this by the case. Now I have tried this. It's not my favorite, but like I said, everybody has their own taste when it comes to wine. And maybe the four, like I said, they have like, you know, if you like white wine, you like red wine, any type of wine, like there's a dry, and there's a, like a sweet, like I said, I'm not the biggest wine expert. I just kind of know what I like and what I don't like. And I think a lot of people are that same way. Now we're going to kind of go into the, the, chips here is the sea salt pita chips for $1.99 I always like these with a little bit of hummus and those are always tasty little snack now these kind of remind me I think of like of Cheetos this is the Trader Joe's version and that is $2.99 a bag baked cheese crunchies <laughs> I wonder if those leave your fingers all dusty as well like it's always a joke where you can tell people where people have been eating the Cheetos as sparkly water now this particular store has it like hiding in the back and so I always forget that they have all the sparkling water I mean that one was a mango orange that one sounded actually really good but they have all different brands here at Trader Joe's and so everybody I hope you enjoyed walking through Trader Joe's with me today as always thank you so much for watching I will talk to you later so take care <laughs>